Well, both sides have pointed to indicators they say show they're on course for victory. But are any of those signs reliable? Our economics editor, Ed Conway, is here with me now. Ed, the polls would suggest that the decision is on a knife edge. But how accurate are those polls? Well, and it's worth kind of just looking at what those polls are actually telling us at the moment. And I can show you on our touch screen just how much they've started to kind of come together. You can look back. This goes all the way back to October uh, 2013. You can see that the gap between them, no on the top, Yes, on the bottom, that gap has narrowed to, to the extent that actually, just zoom in there. Where we are now, you can see it's so close between the two of them, but no is still ahead. But there have been, this is a poll of polls, so it takes a number of them, but there have been individual polls which have put yes just marginally ahead on that. And the, the upshot of this, what we're looking at here, is if you look at it in probability terms, so statisticians put that into probability terms, work out what the probability of the result tomorrow uh, is going to be. They say it's an 80% probability of there being a no and just 20% probability of it being a yes. And the upshot of that is some bookies are actually already paying out on the no bets that people but have put in there. Even before we've had anyone going to the polling Even booth. before we've actually kind of had the start of the vote. Uh, it's it's um, actually Betfair that, that made that. I mean, it might be, it's, it's a bit of a marketing ploy, to be honest with you. It wasn't that many bets. But nonetheless, you can see here, this shows you, according to Betfair, what the implied chance of that vote is going to be. And you can say that, see, that it does come down. It comes down from 85%. Around when we had those, a lot of those kind of yes polls, it dropped down to around 70%. But right now they're saying you're looking at about an 80% chance of there being a, a no vote. The polls, of course, only tell us so much, don't they? They're only questioning a certain number of people with a certain uh, scale of questions, range of questions, and, question and they're relying the waiting, on... And there's lots of other kind of question marks over them as well. Yeah, and relying on people actually saying telling the truth to a pollster yeah, as well. Exactly. What about what people want to find out about at home and whether we see a clearer picture there? Yeah, because they never lie to the internet, do they? They always tell the internet the truth. And here's, here's some of the things they have been saying to the internet, including these are kind of search terms that they've been putting into Google. When they search for Alex Salmon, these are the kind of things that come so after some, his name. Some you might Alice expect. Darling. So some you might expect, the kind of Twitter, what happened in the debate between the two of them, uh, and their contact details. But then look at some of the things with Alex Salmon Zoom in there. Uh, diet, I'm not sure quite what that could possibly refer to, <laughs> uh, and news and, and question marks here. But then look at Alistair Darling. That's, that's the other search term that a lot of people uh, put after Alistair Darling's that's name. That's social media That's the well, main thing. It? Disappointingly, not as much policy as one might have hoped for uh, on there. But nonetheless, it's, it's refreshingly honest I suppose and then you look at search terms on Google this is the number of people typing in independence and then no and yes alternatively you can see no is the red not red one here yes is the blue and you can see that more people were searching for yes uh, this is just going back uh, a few months actually more people searching for yes and then fewer people searching for no but uh, but no has caught up it should be said in the past uh, few weeks uh, there what about social media Ed because we've got a, a younger uh, electorate here. We've got 16 and 17 year olds able to vote. What are they saying on social and, media? And it's that question of engagement, isn't it? How are they actually kind of getting mm. the message, getting what kind of message they want to get? This is what the number of followers, I mean, it's just, this is a kind of vague assessment. We can't necessarily kind of draw any con firm conclusions from this, but it's the number of followers for each different camp. And you can see that this is the no side of things. It's 20,000, it's 40,000 for two. That was Alistair Darling. Uh, that's for the camp entirely. Uh, but look at the yes side, just zoom in on that. You can see we're closer to 100,000. So there is more interest on Twitter when it comes to those specific uh, campaigns. What about Facebook? Does that give us any clues as to where we might be headed? Well, Facebook, the other, the other big social network, there we've taken, this is basically taking all of the interactions, so it's likes, it's comments, it's things, it's things like that, for each different camp. And you can see that yes is marginally ahead, just over 2 million, no is marginally behind. I guess that would tie in with the fact that, you know, we are looking at a younger demographic here. We are looking at people who are more potentially engaged and more activists, and that's, that's probably reflected there too. So, Ed, taking all of those figures and all of those charts into account, what's the upshot? Well, it's what, I mean, you mentioned that. I, I, we've, we've taken that. We've taken the poll ratings. We've taken uh, some of the different expectations. We've taken some of the economic calculations we've looked at. We've put it into a big algorithm I have that kind of back round the corner into a computer, supercomputer, and this is the result that we came up with. It's, uh, it's a question mark. We, I mean, basically, no, no one, one knows. Yeah, no one really knows. It's going to be very tight. The expectation is probably more likely to be a no, but there are so many question marks. No, that's there for a point. There are so many question marks over the polling, over the data, and over just how we predict such an unpredictable thing. Ed Conway, thank you very much.